work from home and when everything else that I'm doing, my keys are not here because my wife took them, uh, I work from home and when everything else that I do is also at home, so I'm doing all the stuff, you know, with the house, I don't really get out much. So right now, I'm going to get some food because I really need to just get out the house. Worst thing ever is getting in your car after someone else has driven it. My wife adjusts all the mirrors. Anyway, so yeah, I'm just going to get some food because I kind of need to get out of the house. It actually has gotten sunny today, so yeah, I'm just going to grab some food and drive around a little bit. I'm going to give you guys your favorite, your favorite driving footage. Starbucks says, oh, we thought you meant iced. And then they're like, do you want the other one? I'm just going to toss it. You take that because free is free. So I got my new vlogging camera, which means I am done with the phone. Let's see. Power. And I am on this bad boy now. And I'm going to be doing a review of this. I know it's, it's a little bit of an older camera. Uh, I'm going to say it's probably going to have better audio. It'll probably keep stereo and I don't have to play around with it after the fact with like the phone. And uh, overall, I won't have to hold it out 17 feet away from me to get a nice angle because this is a sweet angle lens. Let's do this. It's pretty nice. I got it on the, the Casey Neistat, uh, Casey Neistat uh, tripod dealie. So, here we are, right here. It's pretty sweet. Uh, I don't know how much, I mean, there's not really a, there you go, that's, that's a little better, better lighting. I'm trying to see how good this is. You know what I'm saying, like. I mean, solid detail. Pretty good autofocus, it seems to. Whew. Let me check that, boom. Solid, pretty solid autofocus. Anti shake is on, so it seems like it's, you know, this is good. I think this might be the best option here. This might be the best option. Big fan of this. This is a good choice. So, uh, haven't gotten anything done yet today. I mean, as far as like comic or anything like that. Um, I. The baseboards are all done in the bedroom. Just need the shoes and then we're aces in the, the master. Um, my mom called me earlier today. I have to go rescue her vehicle from a gas station. So that's where we're going now. Low light, how it tracks. It's pretty, pretty solid. Okay. See how big this, like how wide this lens is? <laughs> it's roll. It's roll, homie. The Nissan Versa has a surprising amount of headspace. Like, I'm six foot five and I still have space. And this is a tiny vehicle, I'm telling you. It's, it's freaky. Mission accomplished. Now to do tomorrow's vlog and subsequently do some more writing. It's coming along slowly, I'll be honest. It's not, so it's a crucial element of the story, right? The first half, uh, the shadow returns. The first half of the story, we have this huge kind of situation that goes down and really kind of, whoa. Is it because this is moving? It's trying to, anyway. So you have this huge, huge situation that goes down that kind of makes them have to reevaluate everything. And because they're reevaluating everything, we have this whole new process. I like, don't want to give away too much. Well, anyway, so a lot of this first issue, issue four, well, first issue, this issue four, uh, the first issue in the second half is establishing the new rules, establishing the plan, and establishing, of course, the payback because they were set up. And this is like, this is evident from the first first page or first two pages or whatever I have for the first issue. But they were, there was definitely a setup. You know, we're mercenaries. We got to get ours in. So that's kind of where I'm at is just trying to establish this new methodology and 
just make sure everybody's saying the right stuff and you know setting the scene properly it's it's like more difficult than the first half but only by a measure just once it hits once once the proper structure hits me it'll it'll flow smoothly i mean once i got to issue three like once i had the pacing first half of issue three came out in like one night so i'm uh, i'm pretty comfortable with the time it's taking for this once it hits it'll hit I'm thinking of taking a different approach for my uniforms, um, something a little more simplistic to just give myself the overall uniform look, um, just so I'm not trying to give this like comic book, I don't want to say comic book realism, but like superhero structure to it, you know, to try to make it super specific looking. I, I don't really want to do that. I just want to get the, the, the uniforms laid out and the differences in the uniforms showing so that once we do match a, an artist to this project, we will be able to just be like, here are the designs, go for it, homie, and we'll go from there. But yeah, so that's basically it. Hopefully, should be able to share those soon. Hopefully, the fourth and fourth five, four, issue four, five, and six, once, once the, I, 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 I don't know if you guys realize, or remember, rather, I don't know if you guys remember, I mentioned that I was going to just do a plot, uh, like a detailed plot outline of the last three. I didn't want to change my mind, so uh, that's why I'm writing the scripts, but it's just taking a while. But once that's done, I'll have the first entire arc, so technically the first volume of Wolfpack done and ready for a script. Uh, I'll have somebody edit it, and then once it's edited and once we're 100% on what it's, what it's saying and how it's being said, that's it. Just gotta find the right artist. Could it be you? Appreciate you guys for watching. See you tomorrow for day 33.